everyone welcome back to my channel so i'm just going to sage you guys cards out really quickly and then we're going to jump into these messages when i was doing your pre-shuffle i was picking up someone saying i'm sorry i know i hurt you a lot but i want to fix this so we're going to see what comes out in the cards for you i feel like some of you are stressed out or you're hurting really badly um because of something someone did to you, but you're holding it in and you're just going about your normal day, whether that's work or um, whatever it is that you have to do that's important. And you're trying to put this out of your mind, but you keep thinking about someone or you keep thinking about something that they did. And you're like, I don't know if I can just let this go. Like you feel like you have to walk away from them. I feel like this person knows it. If that's how you're feeling, whoever's feeling like that, they already know whatever they did, they feel like it may not be fixable this time around. So we're going to see. All right. So we're going to get some message cards and then we're going to get some tarot. What messages do you have for the collective? What do they need to know? Next couple of days. Oh, you got a couple that came out at the same time. Okay. Hesitation. Their hesitation is causing an action due to the fears of your rejection. So this person feels like if they come back toward you and try to talk to you, you're going to reject them because they left you hanging. I'm sorry for leaving you hanging without any explanation. And then we have paralyzed. So you're holding back because you're paralyzed by this situation. You have a fear of letting this person come back into your life, especially if you're setting boundaries and standing your ground with somebody. You're like, okay, if I let you come back in and you do the same thing and hurt me all over again, whose fault is that? Yours or mine, <laughs> right? You're like, okay, that's my fault. So that's how some of you are feeling right now. So you're like, I don't know if I want you back. I feel like you still love this person. I do. Mm -hmm. They have too many secrets. That's the problem. So you feel like this is unrequited, one-sided love, not enough. Uh, of them bringing their emotions and their attentions to the situation here, um, to the relationship. We have deceitful misleading. So you feel like this person just has a lot of secrets and they don't want you to know what's going on between them and someone else. And you're like, okay, I'm not dealing with it. But they want to reconcile with you. So they want to make something work. And you're like, nah, we tried this. I feel like some of you are saying, no, we tried to make this work. But you keep being sneaky. You're holding back. I don't know where you are. I don't know what you're doing. You hardly text me or call me. So how is this a relationship? But we do have phone calls. So if some of you are waiting for communication from your person, it is coming in. We have expression of interest, wanting to talk. And new beginning. Let's forget about the past. Take a chance and start again. Nope, but you're like, mm -mm. <laughs> you're like, I don't trust you. All right, yeah. So there's a lot of trust issues here with you and this person separating. So you guys separated from someone. Um, we have in just a few weeks, the universe is supporting you. And then we have new love. Some of you may meet somebody else. We have new love here. So some of you have new love coming in. All right, so even if you don't want it, you know what they say when you're not thinking about it. When your back is turned and you're like, I'm just trying to take care of myself right now. I have a lot going on. I'm separated from the person that I thought I was supposed to be with. You know, when you start thinking like that, you're not really focused on new love. And that's when it comes in. That's when someone approaches you and you can find new love anywhere online in the street. Like literally you can meet someone at the strangest, like the odd time, the strangest place. Like, very quickly, let me tell y'all something about my friend. Like, a couple of months back, she was getting readings, and she was like, I just want to know if somebody is coming in. And I'm like, okay, okay, let me just keep doing these readings for you, and we're going to see. So, she called me last week and told me that she met someone. And I'm like, where did you meet this person at? And she was like, in a bar. And I'm like, how did, I'm like, you don't even go to bars. She said she had went and got her hair done like really late um, one night. She was like the last person that um, her hairstylist was doing. So anyway, when she got finished getting her hair done, it was funny because she was like, I'm not going to waste this, my, like, this hairstyle and just go home and sleep on it. She was like, I just got my hair done. So she's like, I'm just going to, you know, stop in. She said her cousin or someone she knew was close by, like they were like DJing at a, a lounge or something. And she said she was just going to stop in there or whatever. She said she wasn't thinking about getting a drink. 
nothing like that. So long story short, she went in there to see her cousin and she met this guy. Now, the funny thing about it is the guy said he wasn't in there to get drinks either. He said his friends made him come out. Like they drug him into this lounge, basically. Well, and they made him come out because he was going through something and they just wanted him to get out, you know, and chill with them and have a good time or whatever. But the moral of the story is she wind up meeting this guy in this lounge. She don't drink like that. He don't really be out you know, like that either. And it was funny because she was like, he said to her after she met this person, he was like, well, let's get out of here. Cause you know, you don't drink and I'm not really trying to be out drinking tonight or whatever. I'm just out here with my friends. And she said they went somewhere and they sat down. I think she said they went and got coffee or something, or they went to like a, a Starbucks or something like that. And they sat down and they talked and she was like, they talked for so long, got to know each other. So anyway, the moral of the story is you can meet someone at the oddest time when you're not really focused on love. So if you're trying to meet someone, looks like they may be coming in, okay, while your back is turned because you're separated from this other person. So don't think like, oh, I'm never going to meet anyone and people keep saying it in my readings and it's never going to happen. It'll happen. If it's meant to be for you to meet someone new, you're going to meet someone new, okay? So we have in just a few weeks, the universe is supporting you. All right, let's get back into these messages. I just wanted to tell you all that because like she swore up and down that her reading just kept saying she was going to meet somebody new. And then she's like, oh my God, this is never going to happen. And then she wound up meeting someone. So what messages do you have for the collective? What do they need to know? All right, we have unexpectedly a sudden turn of events. All right, this person is stalking you. I feel like they're trying to uh, like figure out what you're up to since they haven't been talking to you. And maybe you're not wanting to talk to them. We have to often check on your social media to see what you're up to. I feel like this person is going to reach out to you when you least expect it. Either trying to apologize or see what mood you're in. I feel like someone is going to try to gauge your madness. I hate when people do that to me. It's like you know I'm mad at you, so you don't need to gauge anything. Like you already know, I already told you that I'm mad at you. All right, so we have fights, arguing all the time, not on the same page, a clash of personalities. Some of you feel like you just don't get along with this person anymore. This may have been someone that when you first met them, you guys felt more like in love with each other, head over heels, you know, always had to be around each other. And then now you're just like, all we do is argue. We also have gossip. They are complaining about you to others. <laughs> okay. So this person could be complaining about you to a sister or their mother or a coworker or something. They're complaining about you to something. And if this is not your person, then maybe this is you complaining about your person to somebody. We also have sudden shift. Your current reality is shifting towards something very different from what you had anticipated. And we have the texter. Some of you are going to receive a text message from this person. They're going to play dumb. They're going to play dumb and piss you off. So get ready. The universe is saying, think carefully before responding. Maybe don't respond to this person right away. But I feel like you may be happy that you're receiving this text message because you are waiting to receive one. But I feel like if you say something to this person or ask them a question, they may pretend not to know what you're talking about. messages do you have for the collective okay praying for better days some of you this is your baby mom or your baby father that you're dealing with oh that card just flipped in a circle yes you're angry with someone they feel like there's unfinished business, but you keep clapping back at this person. You're like, no, I'm not letting you get away with whatever you did. So it's like they're trying to, I feel like this is somebody that keeps trying to make up with you. Or if this hasn't happened yet, it's coming in. This person keeps trying to make up with you and you're like, no, mm -mm. it's not going to happen. I'm not a doormat. You can't just walk all over me and then think you can come back and say sorry and that's it. And we can pick up where we left off. Also, we have catfish here. I feel like this person is online talking to other people. 
making people think that there's something that they're not or there's someone that they're not. And you know exactly who this person is, what they have, what they don't have. But I feel like some of you may see them online talking to other people and you're just like, oh, this they don't even know. <laughs> like they don't know who this person really is, but I do. We have unfinished business here. I want a second chance with you. So someone feels like there's unfinished business and I feel like you're looking at the situation like, no, we're finished, we're done. There's no more business to be had here. Yep, friends with benefits, protecting yourself, needing to keep yourself safe. So you're like, I don't want this friends with benefits crap. And this is why you're holding back from this person because you're like, if that's all you want from me, that's not what I want. So then there's no need for me to talk to you. We also have mood swings and conflict. So you're tired of this person being moody with you. Like one minute this person want to come around and they're happy and they want to talk to you or text you and you guys are having a conversation. And the next minute, you know, you guys are back into the conflict and you're like, where is it coming from? It's coming from someone being inconsistent. So you're tired of this inconsistency. All right. I keep seeing this reevaluate where, where things is going. Left unsaid. Some of you are holding a grudge or this person is worried that you're holding a grudge. Yes, definitely. Cold shoulder. Worried. I'm worried that it may be too late to make things right between us. And then we have left unsaid. So this person definitely feels like there's something else that they need to say to you. Or there's something that you guys need to talk about. So I don't know who's holding the grudge here. Take it how it resonates with your situation. Everyone's situation is going to be different, of course. Um, but we have regret and reevaluate where this is going. So I feel like somebody may now want to reevaluate where this is going because you're holding back and you don't have anything to say to them. So now they want to talk about where this is going. But before, I feel like this is someone who was pulling back from you. You couldn't find this person. And when you reached out to them, they wouldn't respond. I feel like this is somebody where you would text this person and they would respond when they got good and ready. And so now you're like, I'm going to respond when I get good and ready. <laughs> if I respond at all. All right, let's get one more. Give me one more. Oh, yep. <laughs> the universe is saying two more. So I'm just going to take these two. It says one last chance. You've activated someone's heart space. They've ha they're having an awakening. Yeah, because they're stressed out or if they're not stressed out, they're just like wondering like, okay, what is like, where, where do, where do I stand with my person? I feel like they're not used to this energy of you not talking. This must be someone, um, some of you are dealing with someone where they're like, I've never seen my person shut down like this before. So now it has them worried. Because they know they must have really did something to piss you off or this is just like the last straw. You're like, okay, nope, this is it. And so now this person is worried. They're worried. Trust me. Don't let this person think that they don't, don't let this person make you think that they don't care. Because they do. They just don't know how to approach you. And if this is someone that you haven't broken up with and you're still talking to, but you just don't know where things stand between the two of you and you haven't heard from them, they're waiting or they're trying to just like give it some time for you to calm down because this is someone who feels like they can just come back in, pick up where you guys left off and move forward. But what they don't know is it's not going to be that way this time. It's a little different. It's going to be a little different this time around. All right, let's get some tarot. Yep, the death card reversed. Well, your cards are flying out of the deck. The four of pentacles. The two of swords. Oh, okay. You don't want to talk to this person right now. The page of wands is reversed. You're like, don't text me. Some of you blocked this person. I'm picking up blocked messages. Is this someone that when you talk to, some of you may have hung up on somebody. I don't know if you were talking to someone and you hung up on them or they hung up on you. Because you guys were trying to get something across to this person, like tell them how you felt. 
and they kept redirecting it towards something else totally different. You're like, no, let's talk about what you did. Let's talk about what's really happening here. Whoever this is, is still hanging on to you with the four of pentacles. Um, but whatever this situation is about, there is some difficult decision or choice that needs to be made with the two of swords. And this person is holding back because they don't know if they're ready to make that decision. It involves change. And this person is resisting it with the death card reversal. Some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio or a younger fire sign, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius or that you see as immature. Eight of Swords. Want the justice reverse. You're tired of this person um, being unfair. Yeah. Universe is telling you to trust your intuition with this. Look at this. The high priestess, the nine of wands and the moon. You're like, no, I know something is going on behind my back. Whatever you're feeling, whatever you're thinking about the situation, the universe is saying this is exactly what's happening here. Don't second guess it. Stand firm on what you believe because um, some of you may be dealing with the Pisces. We have Pisces twice here. With the high priestess and the moon. And we also have the justice card reverse Libra energy. Or you just feel like there's a lot of unfair, unfairness that's happening here. Somebody's not taking accountability for what they're doing to you and it's pissing you off. And you're like, okay, we're having a conversation about this. Just say I'm sorry or apologize, mean it, and do better. But instead of them doing that, they're trying to place the blame or they're bringing up stuff that you've done from the past. And you're like, what does that have to do with what we're talking about now? Okay. So we do have the three of pentacles and the five of swords. So I feel like this person is going to think about what's happening here. This may be a Leo. They're going to think about what's happening here. <laughs> oh, yeah. The strength in the king of wands. Definitely Leo energy. Um, and try to make up with you. They're thinking about it now. With the two of pentacles. Like, should I just apologize? This is somebody who don't like to apologize or they're not used to taking accountability for the things that they do. I feel like this is how this person moves in life. And you're like, okay, well, it's not going to work with me. So if you want to give me back, you're going to have to apologize. We're going to have to talk about what's going on here or you can just keep it moving. I see this person approaching you. And trying to reconcile with the five of swords reversed. But this is not their normal MO and you know it. So you may not trust it. You may be like, okay, they're coming back being nice. But they're just doing that to get me back. Like I don't really trust the situation that they're going to, you know, um, stick to it. All right. So we have the nine of swords. The ace of cups. Some of you definitely have new love coming in. Or this is someone coming back to... Um, fix this situation. Yeah, somebody's going to want you to be nice to them. And you're like, no, I'm not being nice to you. You're learning how to pull away from this person. Page of Pentacles reverse with the devil reverse. Maybe you're dealing with the Capricorn. Maybe, maybe a Capricorn dealing with the Pisces. And this person is not used to you holding back. And because you're being able to hold back from them, they don't like it. It's stressing them the hell out with the Nine of Swords. I'm sorry, y'all don't mean to laugh. <laughs> laugh. Oh, my goodness. This person is like, okay, listen, I want this new beginning. Do you want this or not? Because you're stressing me out here. So who are y'all stressing out? They want to talk. Eight of Wands. These messages are going to start coming in, whether you want to talk or not. I feel like they are already coming in, and some of you are just reading them. I don't know why I can picture some of y'all, like, reading this person's text messages and laughing or reading their text messages like, I don't care. Like, it is what it is. Like, you shouldn't have did what you did. Now deal with it. All right. What messages do you have for the collectors? What do they need to know? The Seven of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Somebody don't want this to end. Page of Cups. World Reverse. Four of Swords. They're withdrawn. But even though they're withdrawn from you, they're still reflecting on the relationship and how to fix things because they're already invested with the Seven of Pentacles. It's not, don't let, when I say don't let this person fool you, like 
dead ass don't let this person fool you because they are they're already invested in this relationship they don't want to walk away from it they don't want to end it they don't they just don't want to um come back like groveling on their knees and things like that like they know that you're like, nope, you better come back. You better apologize. You better make it right. You better do this and you better do that. And this person's like, oh my God, like this is not something I normally do, but I want my person back. So they're trying to come back with this page of cups and you're like, mm -mm, that's not going to work this time. You got to mean it. You got to do something different because whatever they're used to doing, that's not going to work on you this time around because the next card out of the deck is the six of swords. So you're out of here. You're like, I need to heal. I need to move on because this is a waste of my time. And I feel like this person knows that you're seeing it this way. And they're not feeling good about it either because they may be feeling like they're about to lose you or they've lost you. Or even if they don't feel like they've totally lost you, they may feel like you're dealing with someone else and they just don't have you like they used to. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.